Carl, the geologist, one of the most versatile characters in the entire game. He's a tank, he's an assassin, he has a lot of mobility and he can deal a lot of damage as well. Yet, he has a very strong counter that it's actually very easy to have nowadays, which are stuns or knockbacks to interrupt his super. He is the best character in terms of design, but he is in the seat here. And today, to understand how did he went to this awful place, we're going to take a deep dive in all of the balance changes that he received over the years and maybe learn a little bit about the history of our sweet, sweet geologist. So let's start with Carl's release. He was awful. He had less two-thirds of a tile range, his pickaxe was a lot slower, he dealt less 3% damage, he super dealt less 20% damage, I mean, he only had two actually good things. His super back then could not be interrupted by stuns, as it can be nowadays, and he actually had 10% more HP, but Carl was absolutely awful. He was probably in his worst ever state. At its release, obviously a lot of characters already had this happening, but he was the first of them all. Supercell would realize their big mistake and so, on 15th of April 2019, he received the largest ever projectile speed increase, by a whopping 25%. There has already been certain supers or characters that had a projectile speed nerf of 25%, but this is a buff. This is for you to understand how freaking slow his pickaxe was. His super was changed back to what it is nowadays, 3 seconds but it can be interrupted, and now his pickaxe actually would come back when he died, which to be completely honest, I feel like it's a pretty weird thing, but regardless, it's a thing. And these buffs were pretty darn important, cause here is the thing, the footage that I showed you earlier, those were of Carl with his first star power, yes! It was not the Carl without the star power, because on top of that, his first star power back then was actually a 16% projectile speed increase instead of the 10% that we have nowadays. This comparison is really good for you just to have an idea of how freaking slow the pickaxe used to be, it's actually nuts. But now, you would think that from so many buffs he would finally be good, yet no, it, you're wrong. <laughs> because he still doesn't appear in a single competitive tier list. It's hard to tell where in what tier he used to be, because back then tier lists were completely different from the ones we have nowadays, but he was just simply not viable. So one month later, they would buff him again, where now you could actually pre-aim your attack while on the super, which it, it should have been really weird not being able to aim while you're on the super, I, I honestly cannot imagine. And now his cooldown, when you actually pick up that pickaxe, it was reduced. So pretty much, it is a lot easier to just keep throwing the pickaxes. Imagine this kinda how when Charlie was first released, like she could always just spam the yo and Carl could do that but with a pickaxe, which was actually really really OP. To the S tier, Carl's buffs were huge for him, he went from being one of the least powerful brawlers in the game to one of the most overwhelming. With the increased attack speed, Carl's main attack is less of a liability and is easier to land. His increased consistency in combat allows him to remain relevant until those moments where he supers and overwhelms the opponent. People were finally respecting Carl as a really strong brawler. You could just cycle his basic attack so easily, and he did very consistently as well. And after seeing Carl's success, Supercell did not hesitate in nerfing him one month later. His damage from the pickaxe was reduced from 640 to 580, which is a pretty darn substantial nerf on the damage. Very aggressive, but it made sense because it was so easy to land his attack. But on top of that, his first star power, which was 
the Star Power Nine make his pickaxe faster, now instead of being 16% faster, it was only 13% faster. Which, yes, it is only a 3% nerf, but it obviously makes a difference in a character like Carl. So, Carl's slower shot speed at max levels makes it harder for his shots to actually land, and uh, that makes him slightly less competitive as well. Now, even though Carl's was still a really good pick overall. Over time, his second star power actually got released, which at that time, instead of being a 35% chill, it was a 30% chill. Over time, Carl just simply lost his popularity, and he was starting to become another mediocre character. And Supercell wanted Carl to be actually balanced for a long time. So they did the following buffs two months later. His projectile speed was increased by only 8%. Not a lot, but it was kinda to compensate the problem with his first star power and the second star power. Like, the first star power was just mandatory. If you did not use it, it was just useless, because you would not hit your attacks. The first star power was just vital. So they increased the main projectile speed, so that you can actually use the second star power, which was the shield. And on top of that, that star power, the protective pirouette, got its damage reduction increased from 30% to 40%, which was a very thick shield, let me tell you. And well, I guess that Carl was very, very strong, because not even one month later, he already received kind of a nerf and a buff. His main attack would now have a small delay between each attack, so it's like how it is nowadays. If you throw it literally against the wall, you still take a tiny bit just to have the pickaxe back. And back then it was not like that, so you can kind of see how easy it was to just cycle his attack. But to do a little bit of compensating for that, his main attack damage, instead of being 580, it would now be just 600. So a very tiny damage buff, but Carl was already a very strong character. A tier up into the S tier. He is actually one of the best brawlers in the game, and more and more pros over 700 trophies are starting to recognize that. Brawlers that have lots of like really heavy HP or like shields or things like that are starting to be played a little bit less, so that consistent DPS is less of a requirement, and that means that Carl is able to do a really solid job. Now, in even after the small rework, Carl was still a very, very strong character. So, at 19th of February 2020, his second star power shield would be reduced from 40% to 30%, which even though reduced the viability on the second star power, he was still very, very strong. So two months later, his damage with the super would be decreased from 400 to 360, so he no longer could assassinate people so well. But even with those two nerfs, Carl was still very, very strong. Now, even though Carl was a very strong character, even after the two nerfs, there was one thing that would come that would change everything, and that is gadgets. Yes, that a little push, that was probably the reason why Carl got so many of these buffs. To start off, in 13th of May 2020, his super damage was increased from 360 to 420, probably to compensate how easy it was now to cancel his super. Next, on 16th of June, his main attack damage was increased from 600 to 660, which is a massive 10% damage buff to the, to the damage. And that is the damage that he has to this day. And on 10th of September, his super recharge rate was increased slightly. So, in total, he received 3 buffs. And just for you to have an idea, throughout these 4 months, he was always on the A tier or higher. So honestly, I have no idea why did he even receive so many buffs, I guess that the dev team just really liked Carl. But this would not stay for longer and Carl would receive a massive stab in the back in the next patch notes. On 15th of December 2020, Carl would receive one of his massivest reworks ever. His range would be decreased by a whole tile, which is a massive range nerf, and because the projectile speed of the pickaxe is actually 
it works with the range so the longer the range the slower the pickaxe is technically so to compensate for that this projectile speed of the pickaxe was decreased by a whopping 13 percent carl's flying hook now would not come back after going with the flying hook and his supercharge rate was decreased slightly it didn't change many actual interactions but to compensate, if you can call it that, for these nerfs, his heat ejected gadget, instead of dealing 300 damage, it would now deal 400 damage, and his super would now only need 16 hits from the previous 17 hits. Which, obviously, this just straight up killed Carl, if you can think for a while. The last tier list's king of Brawl Stars has fallen, and he has fallen in literally every single mode in the game. After a huge nerf to his attack range, along with a harmful bug fix to his flying hook gadget, it seems like Carl's able to finally stop digging because Brawl Stars pretty much dug a grave. Now, even though at first Carl didn't seem that bad, over time he just got really bad really fast. So over time, Supercell tried to buff Carl. To start off, on 27th of January, his first gadget, the Heat Ejector, its damage would be increased from 400 to 600. Uh, that was absolutely useless, that did nothing. On 15th of March, his protective pirouette, his second star power, its shield would be increased from 30% to 35%, which it is what it is to this day. His first gadget, it, at that same time, it would be changed from 600 damage to 1200 damage over 4 seconds, so he would put people on fire. But on 7th of April, Supercell try a really big buff and they would increase Carl's range from 6.67 to 7.33. Not exactly how his range used to be before the nerf, but almost there. And finally, on 19th of May, his projectile speed was increased by a whopping 15%. Now, even though Carl was not the strongest, Supercell, even after that, they would nerf Carl again one month later and they reduce his projectile speed by kind of a 3%. Now, it was not a major change, but Carl would stay like this for half a year. And in half a year, a lot of things happen. And Carl was just slowly but surely getting worse and worse and worse. It just... Carl was just not good. He just simply lacked the DPS and his super was so easy to counter. It felt like Carl was never ever going to be good again. So jumping into the third worst brawler in the game right now, we still have Carl. So Carl did get a buff in the most recent balance changes, but that literally did nothing in the, well, in the meta. So as I predicted, it just didn't do anything, so of course that was super damage. It's Even after so many buffs, Carl was just simply still not good. He lacked the DPS, he lacked a lot of things. And so Supercell will try to go for a different route this time. A range buff. In 25th of January, his range would be increased from 7.33 tiles to 8.33 tiles. Now, even though this is a massive range buff, you gotta remember that with a range buff, that also means a projectile speed nerf on Carl. Carl still absolutely sucked. Supercell is getting tired of seeing your geologist always on the F tier or below that. So, on 29th of June, they would do the final buff that would make Carl absolutely broken. They would increase his projectile speed by 15%. That's a lot. I mean, when you really think about it, that is one of the major mechanics about Carl, and they just increase it by a lot. Uh, the star power also got its power decreased from 13% to 10% at this time, if I am not correct. And Carl was absolutely busted. He was, with no doubt, the best brawler in the game, with no doubts. He was just so but so powerful and it was so easy to consistently hit the shots that two months later they decided to decrease his HP from 4400 to 4000. Which it was not a major nerf because Carl was still a top 10 
and this was actually I mean at the time I'm recording Carl is going to receive a buff sometime but this was by the time I'm recording the last change that he actually received and there is still a lot to talk about especially when it comes to hypercharges what can I say hypercharges absolutely destroy Carl and even worse than that I would say aggression has overall destroys Carl. We have characters like Cordelius, Charlie for example, that just simply obliterate him because he needs the super to destroy people. And if he cannot super into them then he cannot do anything, which is very very sad. And I mean with the hypercharges coming all over the place, Shelly being broken, Bull being broken, El Primo, Colette, I mean just choose one random hypercharge and you have a reason why Carl is not good. And it would just keep on being like that, hypercharge after hypercharge, Carl counter after Carl counter. And eventually, here he is in the top 10 worst brawlers. How sad. Although, uh, by the time I am recording, in one week he will receive around a 12 damage increase which could make him a lot stronger but honestly in my opinion I don't think it will change much because he still needs the super to finish off people and if he can approach people then he cannot kill people very simple but there you have it the entire history history of Carl what are your thoughts uh, did you think that I kind of skipped some part because I tried to make this video not very long? Maybe I forgot something? Write in the comments down below and tell me what is the next world I would like to see. And I'll see you on the next video.